what what is your approach with obstacles and adversity and how how do you deal with them obstacles and adversity um, yeah <clears throat> i would say what got me through the most obstacles and adversity was already dealing with tough times as a kid you know like i went through a lot whether it was with the transition of like just I don't know, man. Like just being being in a tough environment. Like I said earlier, I grew up fighting a lot. Um, I grew up not knowing like what was going on. I didn't, I didn't have the best uh, life. That even when it came to like school, I wasn't the kid that had all the shoes. I didn't have all the clothes. You know, I, and what's crazy is I wasn't one of them. I, I was always super genuine, bro. Like I was never one that got picked on. I was still the cool. You know what I'm saying? Still in the cool crowd. But I feel like that molded me to be so tough, like I mentioned earlier in the interview. It was like, that really, I think a lot of the adversity that I was supposed to be going through, I I wasn't feeling like it was adversity. I was just used to these, these, these pains and these things that was already happening. You know, now what allowed me to take on the obstacles and take on things that, once I started to learn who I was as a person and began to have more understanding of what my purpose was, uh, was always making sure that I had some type of why attached to it. You know, like uh, Inky Johnson, I don't, you, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm Johnson, familiar. Listen to Inky a lot, man. And um, he, he talks about aspirations a lot. You know, he talks about adversity a lot, you know, with his story with an arm yep. and everything. So I feel like all of us have like an Inky story, bro. You know, it may, it may not be something physical, but it could be something that teared us away from being uh, who they, who we thought our purpose was at that yeah. time, you know, and um, I can honestly say that who I thought I was gonna be and who I am today is completely opposite. You know, I didn't see myself here, but it was uh, Inky has a quote that I tell a lot of people. And it's not his quote, but he mentioned it in one of the podcasts he was doing, and it's actually a quote from Maya Angelou, and it says that I stand as one, but I come as ten thousand. And that quote, man, stuck out to me years ago when I first heard it because what he's saying is like, who you see me as now is, is the person that went through everything throughout my journey. Whether I met somebody that was a bad influence or whether I met somebody that was a positive influence or whether I met somebody that changed my thought process on how I should move or whether somebody messed up my trust issues. And all of that stuff to who I am now makes you who you are. You know, so I feel like um, after I learned how to actually take in what's going on and not be against it, meaning like if bad things were to happen to me, but life's not perfect. Like life, yeah. life can only be as, as as perfect as you try to make it. But <clears throat> when the world works, man, like something's gonna come up, bro. Like my life could be going smooth, but um, your perspective is so much more important right yeah. like how you actually take into bad things happen or how you take into adversity and i feel like for me man i've always been inspired to push past it there's never been one time where i ran into a wall and it could be because i have a daughter it could be because i inspired to make a lot of money it could be because i aspire to make a lot more businesses and there's so much thing that i inspire to have that there's no way that i can reach any of that if i allow this to put me down if i allow me to stop and as much things that I have going on right now, it'd be impossible. And I just tell that to people all the time. It's like, if, which is why I'm peaceful, right? Like, I stay at peace. But that isn't, like, a lot of people confuse happiness and peace, right? They think that if you're happy, that's peaceful. But no. I could be peaceful right now, and then my, my car don't start tomorrow. I'm going to be mad, bro. You go be but, happy. But, but, but are my bills paid? Is my daughter okay? Did we eat that day? Do I still got a place to sleep? Like, the peace comes from, like, the things that actually matter. Yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis, if you wake up and spill your coffee on your shirt, you're going to be mad. You know, so being able to actually separate those and be like, all right, it's time to move on. That's, like, that. that's why I feel like those obstacles and those adversities come from. Is I, I use that as an example, but these things that happen, we got to fix it. We got to either learn how to fix it, fix it that time, or be able to go around it so we can continue on what we're doing and I feel like after I learned how to view it like that um, it got better on tackling obstacles and tackling adversity and I still go through it even here in the business daily man whether I mean not daily but if anything problematic comes up in the business 
Um, I got to kind of deal with it. I got to figure it out. And I've never once been pessimistic about it. Like, ah, oh, man, I don't, I'm not too sure. Oh, man, I can't believe this shit happened. It never been like that. I just sit back, analyze the problem, be like, all right, man, this shit got to get fixed. Yeah. So what can we do to actually, you know what I'm saying, fix it? Whether it's me doing it myself or whether it's me trying to figure out if I have to talk to somebody else to figure out how to do it, you know? Yeah. So I figured <clears throat> that that's kind of how I got through uh, tough times, bro. Like, literally, and that's why I'm tough on people. Like, that's why I'm tough on people. Like, I'm not super tough, but, like, all the things that I've gone through or that has came about has gone through a process of, of like, adversity, bro, and obstacles. And I talk about it a lot, too, because it's real. Like, it really is real. Because if you mm-hmm. if you leave it up to anybody or the average person that's going through their life the way it is and, and tough shit comes up, a lot of people going to quit, bro. A yeah. lot of people going to be like... Or they'll just use it as this is not for me. Yeah. Nah, that's not, that's not for me, bro. Ain't quit. no way that this is too tough, bro. It's gonna be tough, bro. Yeah. You know, so after you push past that, um, it gets easier, man. For sure. That's definitely. I like that answer, and I I, I want to add to that um, because, um, like you said, like I got that similar perspective when it comes to like an obstacle or any type of adversity that may come up. Like I look at it, I don't be like, damn, like, why why me? Like, why is happening right, to me? Right. Why me? Um, right. Or oh, this happening because of this person. Like, nah, I just be like, okay, what's the problem? I know it's a solution to it. Like, why is it happening and what can I learn from it? Right. Because everything that's happening to you is you're not the only person that went through it or right. that's dealing it with it. Reason, so bro. it's everything happens for a reason, everything good and bad. Reason, you yeah. you learn it from it and then you go I think, I th- use that I think, to avoid it the next time. I think that that takes like a level of maturity though, bro. Like it really does. Like the more that you, even like you with your friends, I'm sure that you can sit back and see some of your friends that are pessimistic. And once again, I think it's so much easier for me now, excuse me, right now, because I'm so optimistic. I'm to the point where I'm so optimistic where it's like, as soon as somebody says something that, it could be a random conversation and they negative. They, oh my God, I'm you like, can't take it. You can't be yeah, around I'm like, it. Damn, I can't. that's crazy that you're thinking like that. Exactly. You know? So it's like, and, 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 and it can come from male and female, bro. But yep, are, 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 are we the one to actually sit there and correct? A lot of people be thinking I'm an asshole because I'm like, why are you think so negative, bro? Yeah. And, like, and they try to like, it's okay that I'm, I'm like, it's okay that I guess like, I can't say that I've never not thought about something negative. I've always thought about like, damn, what the fuck? Is, what, what happens if this happens? Oh, damn. How am I going to? Yeah, but the thing about it is like, bro, problems have to be fixed. And mm-hmm. like I said, when you get to the point where like you the boss or you the person that all the problems trickle under you, like all the problems going to trickle under you because everybody's going to come to you and then you ain't got anybody to, to kind of go to to help you fix the problems. Let's believe if you want it bad enough, you're gonna learn how to start fixing problems yeah. in a good way, though. N- not like an aggressor or, or somebody that finesses the system. Because I'm huge off energy, bro. I'm so big off energy that like you can't move sideways and think that something good, something gonna, good come gonna come out of it or eventually not come back to you. Exactly. I, 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 I'm, and I, I'm people that speak to me now. They know I'm not one of those that believe in karma. Not to say that it don't exist, you can believe whatever you yeah. want, but I believe on, on genuine energy. Like, what you put out right now, you know, because if I did and everything in my past that I did when I was a shorty, I, I'd probably be in jail right now if that was karma. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or I'd probably, something else would probably happen. So it's like, but how I've been putting out my energy for years, I show love, bro. Like, I show so much love, and not overly, because sometimes you learn, right? You learn how much love you can show to people. And when it's or not reciprocated. To certain people, you know? Mm-hmm. And... Even when you show love genuinely, though, bro, like sometimes I think we talk, we talked about it too. Is like mm-hmm. I show love genuinely that it's not that I expect it back, bro. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, man, well, how about that one time I I'm gonna just show love and I feel like eventually, not to say it'll come back to me, but not one person right now that's in my life or even that knows me, bro. I promise you, like anybody that sees it, anybody that knows me can't be like, I met Adrian. He was like the Anything. Yeah, they. You can say a bad person, a dickhead, whatever it is. Not one person gonna say that because I'm genuinely like that. Bro. Like my energy, I I try to stay away from things that are even close to that. You know. Yeah. And like like you said, like um, you don't have to believe in karma, but it's like it's still laws like in place, like the law of attraction. Yeah. For like sure. that's real. Whatever you put out, literally come for back sure. to you, whether it be in that moment or whenever, it'll come back to you a year later, two minutes later, have a long. Yep. And then um. 
another thing that I learned, like the secret, is your thoughts control your life. So if you constantly thinking negative or yes, being yes, pe- pessimistic, to, oh, like, expecting the worst, you go keep receiving the worst. Right. That's asking it is giving. Right. You keep saying it, that's what's gonna keep coming to you. So you can't can't have that mindset to be uh, be like that. You gotta um, like you said, be optimistic. <laughs> And be looking forward to what's to come and not just what's happening right now. Right, rather right. Be now, 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 to those that watch it, is it easy? Hell no, nah, it's easy, it's it's, man. It's actually so much easier to be negative. And I tell that to people, too. It's mm-hmm. like, I, I'm i so understanding that I, I can always say I get why you feel that way. I, as soon as a person turns negative, I'm like, I definitely get that. Because it's easier to feel like that. Yeah. It's easier to be like, and just like how we spoke about earlier, it's easier to quit. <clears throat> I forgot who, who said that. I, I, I I don't know if it was David Goggins or it was like it was it was somebody that was an inspirational speaker but they said that they mentioned that they said it's so much easier to quit because you just have the choice to turn it off whatever okay. you're doing it doesn't matter you're like I'm done yep. but getting past that point that made you want to quit bro that's just like as soon as you get past that it's like oh shit I didn't have to quit I actually made it you know what I'm saying yep so, Cause, but I, I can't, I can't agree with that part. Cause I like, regardless of everything I didn't dealt with with my journey, I know it's different for everybody. But yeah, for sure. it didn't been moments like I know stuff didn't happen to where like people like, hey, I'm gonna quit, like this <clears> it. But I'm like, nah, cause I'm like, this gotta add to the story. Yeah, I feel, sure. I, this is my perspective. I feel like you, <clears throat> like life is like you, you write your own book and make your own movie. Yeah, for sure. Everything is happening to you. This just add to what you can tell when you get to where you're going to. Yeah. So that's and, why. And, and, we have to have like some type of attachment to it too. Like go like for me it was COVID, right? When COVID hit, bro, all these businesses and even like I still had to pay rent here, bro. Mm-hmm. All the businesses around, even on Broadway, shutting down, shutting down, shutting down, shutting down. I was in school at the time. I had just finished my first degree, right? I had just finished my first degree. I could have been like, bro, I'm about to get a job. I'm about to get a job paying mm-hmm. me sixty, seventy k. I was literally like at that point where I'm like, bro, do I still wanna? And then I thought about it. I'm like, man, I I, I came too far into this place in this position. And the people that work for me, they got lives, bro. They feed their kids off of this. How can I give up on something that I inspired to be or push to be because I'm going through a tough time and in a, in a tough time that I couldn't control? Yeah. Nobody could control. Yeah, that COVID, was. Bro. So, but what I did really quick before we, it was just okay. that it's the aspiration, right? Through COVID, I hustled so hard, bro. Only because it was COVID. So I, I, I bro, 20 to 30 times marketed, advertising each time to the point when COVID started to lower, the hustle that was already put up only gained so much more people because yeah. I was already going crazy in a, in a time where people didn't want to come out the house. So because that hustle was still there, when it was time for people to come out the house, Bro, that, that that year after COVID or when like shit started really die off, ink time has only doubled every year after that, bro. I promise you. It literally has only gone better and I realized I'm like, damn, I doubled my hustle, but after doing that, I started teaching them how to actually hustle. Or not not even hustle, like they was always hustle, but how to Improve. become more of me. Yeah. Become more of an advertiser, become more of a marketing. So it's like the main dude doing that, we all trickle like it's, it's like like we said earlier. It's a team, and I feel like for ink time, it's like a like ink time is ink time is as long as everybody works under the web, bro, it, it, it operates at, at a, the smoothest transition and tr- transaction that it can, bro. And um, seeing that through COVID, bro, which is why I tell people like, what's what what type of hardships, bro? Because I've been through yeah. shit, dog. I've been through enough to make me personally be like, nah, man, I'm good. But after I push past that, I don't think it, I don't think I can quit on anything right now. You know. Okay.